what's going on, G Dot family? You already know it's your boy G Dot back at it with another ba 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 banging ass video. Y'all already know what's going on with a real nigga. Now check it out, y'all. Oh yeah! I got another Survive Chicago goddamn video for y'all. And today, folks, we're gonna be talking about how to not get robbed. Cause I ain't gonna lie, it's robbing season in the rack right now. Winter time, ooh, fall time, going to winter time. When they start getting their ass poked for. I'm gonna tell you right now, the PPP over with. Don't got that money for the bill. Don't got that money for no gift. Don't got that money to travel. Don't got no money for goddamn Thanksgiving. Some niggas finna start getting taken down. No cap on that one. So I wanna tell you what and what not to do. Avoid getting taken down, folks, cause we, we, we don't wanna get taken down. We don't wanna get robbed for our valuables. We work hard. We're gonna know what to do and what not to do, folks. Well, no you already know what's going on before we get into that video, man. You already know the fuck going on with the real nigga. Before we go ahead and get into that video, man, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I drop a new baggy ass video. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at GuapBoyG. And Twitter at GuapBoyG. All the links to my social media are going to be in the description below. Including for my gaming channel because you already know what's going on with that, man. Look, I'm going so crazy on that gaming channel, man. I can't even put it in words. I'm talking about whooping niggas ass, putting a belt to ass like Durkio said, folks. Shooting niggas off the rooftop, selling crack to all the fiends. Taking over they block, taking over the whole city, folks. I really do this. I know cap. If you wanna go ahead and watch a nigga take over Los Santos, go ahead and hit that link in the description right now, man. GTRP going crazy, no bad. Let's do this. Definitely don't forget to check out my Patreon in the description below too, cause you already know, man. I got them hot. Bangers coming five days a week for y'all for my highest tier, three days a week for my lowest tier, all uncensored, no bleeps, no blurs, with the links to the videos, and I got some giveaways coming on monthly, man. Ooh, we. Ooh. You definitely not gonna wanna miss that, man. Stop playing with a real nigga. Get in tune. Tap in. Get in where you fit in, man. Cause spots are limited. But y'all already know what we came in for, man. Y'all already know what it's time to do, man. It's time to go ahead and get straight into that video, man. I say, hold up, hold up. Time to get to the video. Hey, hey. Did it. <laughs> Boy, if you don't get. But look, man, I ain't gonna lie to you on some real. It is Robin season. Do get their ass poked a lot in Chicago, and I'm gonna teach you how not to get poked. The first thing we're gonna do not to get poked, don't wear all your bad. Like, if you got a lot of designer or you got a lot of, like, you know, going on, a lot of chains, a lot of whips, a lot of cars, folks, these are the two things you need not to do. First of all, don't post all your because you might be living like that, but one thing Chicago niggas do is look and pay attention. They be on social media, for Most of these niggas don't got no job. Most of these niggas is hood niggas. So let me tell you something, folks. Niggas is paying attention. When niggas peep that you post a different outfit every day. You got a chain for every day of the week, and you got three, four cars. You don't think niggas are hungry and want a piece of that, folks? Niggas will take you down for all that and don't ever, ever post the inside of your career, but anything about your career, bro. Because when niggas find out where you live, you don't know what'll happen. Niggas will stake your house out for a week to rob you or rob your career, folks. You don't want to lose your value. So social media, folks, stay off that. We're not doing that. Don't post your crib. Don't post what you're doing. Don't post where you're at. Don't do none of that We're not doing all of that, bro. Stop playing with your life. For real, Chicago niggas will take you down. You can post the inside of your damn apartment building and niggas will know where you live at by the goddamn color of the cabinets or the shape of the goddamn sink. Niggas ain't stupid. And also, folks, don't be walking around this 30 chains on, a Michael Mary zones, some goddamn Balenciaga t shirt, the goddamn new rap singers on your feet. Don't be doing that, bro. But I'm gonna tell you some real shit. Niggas know what that is, and niggas know how much that costs. So even me, fuck, I see a nigga that's on a Mary zone in a gas station, I think he got a little money. Now, my mind don't immediately go to rob a nigga, but that's where some niggas' minds go, folks, especially if you look like a goofy, because most of y'all niggas be looking like goofies, bro. You walking in this flea is not looking at niggas' ass. You're not looking to see who's in this, bro. You gotta look to see who's in this. When you walk in anywhere, I'm talking about the gas station, the stove, Portillo's, Harold's, it don't matter. Walk in and look at everybody. Now, you can't be in this finally, you can't be in this happy go lucky for you gotta put on your meme mug for you gotta walk in there. And if a nigga try to play crazy, you gotta. You feel what I'm saying? You gotta know what you're doing, bro, because if you don't do that, you're gonna look like a stain. That's why everybody from Chicago look mean as hell and act mean as hell, because we got to, because if you don't. Don't think you a lame, they gonna try to rob your ass. So you can't have none of that, bro. You can't have none of that sh Don't do it. Don't go out like that. So look at crazy. We walk in this and have some manners. Be polite, of course. You feel what I'm saying? Don't overdo it like we down south. But you know, be cool, be cordial. And most of all, get your and go. Whatever you came in here for, bro, get that and go. You came in here for some food, get your food and leave. Order your food, leave, come back, get your food, leave. You feel what I'm saying? If you came here for some gas, get your gas and leave. Don't be lollygagging where you ain't supposed to be at, bro. Matter of fact, don't be lollygagging anywhere. It can go down at any time in the rack. Don't be lollygagging at the gas station. Don't be lollygagging at the food spot. Don't be lollygagging on the block. Don't be lollygagging at your goddamn auntie house. Be inside the house or you're in the car. One of those two things. We ain't outside just posted unless you one of them niggas on your block. If you're not on your block, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. The next way you can avoid getting robbed in Chicago, for you 
got to watch who you trust, bro. Because I ain't going to lie. A lot of niggas will get cool with you just to set you up and rob you, bro. This nigga not known for having no emotion or no money, bro. Why would you say you finna trade some shit with him or buy some shit off him? First of all, let's get into that real quick. Don't trade shit with niggas these niggas are broke if they had the money they would buy it them goddamn sell we don't trade or sell shit to niggas bro that's high school that's actually below high school that's grammar school middle school we don't do that anymore bro we're grown as hell so if you got set up because a nigga said he was going to trade you some shoes for some shoes a jeans for some jeans or you say you're gonna sell him some amiris or sell him some mics you deserve to get robbed because why the f are you trying to sell these niggas these shoes bro if you don't keep these shoes and just wear these Bro, or selling a stock X or something. It's not that serious. Like, it's really not that serious, bro. Nigga will set your ass up like that. And on top of that, man, if it sounds too good to be true, if it sounds like a too good of a deal, it is, he's going to rob you. Now, if you be like, hey, bro, I got a hundred, you can f me on a zip or something. He like, hell yeah, pull up. He's going to rob you for that hundred dollars. I'm sorry. I'm just telling you what's going on. If you like, hey, bro, I got these Amiris. You trying to buy them for two racks? He's like, hell yeah, pull up. He's going to rob you because he know Amiris go for a thousand and some change. And he's going to take that shit off your body. Like, stop playing with niggas. Even on some little like, hey, bro, you cool as hell, man. Come to the block. Come kick it with us, man. Don't go to their block. You don't know these niggas. Why are you pulling up on random niggas' blocks, bro? You're not supposed to do that. And most of the time, y'all niggas be doing this shit solo dolo with no pipe. You at least gonna do that shit to have a pipe on you. At least have a pipe on you, my nigga. Don't go to no random nigga block tweaking and lacking. This ain't the party for that. This ain't what's going on, for. You gonna get your ass beat the fuck up. I'm just letting you know the truth. A lot of niggas be going to these blocks and they ass extorted. And this is why. Because y'all pulling up to places y'all don't know. Don't got no pipe. Don't got no backup. Looking flea as fuck. Niggas going to pokey. And above all else, foe, this is the main thing you can't be doing in Chicago. Unless you downtown, and even then, you gotta be paying attention, bro. Don't be walking nowhere. Like, don't be walking nowhere, bro. Don't be walking through the hood. Don't be walking over east. Don't be walking out west. Don't be walking up north, foe. Get in the car. Take a Uber or get in the car. Because the, when you're walking, you're gonna have to take these back blocks or these side streets. Eventually, you're gonna have to take You can't stay on the main street the whole time. So when you take these side streets and these back blocks, just know these niggas are trying to rob you. These niggas are looking for stains and they're trying to rob you. And I'm not gonna lie, bro. Everywhere in Chicago is borderline the hood or right next to the hood, except downtown. Hyde Park, damn near the hood. I ain't gonna lie to you. All them black neighborhoods that's out south and over east, damn near the hood. You feel what I'm saying? It's right there. It's like right there. So you definitely don't wanna be on foot through these neighborhoods. They catch your ass lagging because niggas literally ride around looking for people to rob. Literally, like, this is what's going on. Niggas are riding around looking for people to rob. I'm just telling you what's going on because I've been a part of these crews. And I know people who's a part of these crews. So, don't, don't be walking. Just, just get a car, invest in a vehicle. If you got to eat some booty to get a car, folks, eat some booty to get a car, folks. It ain't no shame in that. You got to do what you got to do to survive out here in these streets. I'm not going to judge. As long as you don't get robbed, I'm not going to judge. And the last thing you got to do, folks, to avoid getting robbed is not go to random ass hoes house. You can't go to no random ass house. Bro, you just met this hoe. Why are you going to her slot? Why are you going to her crib, bro? You finna go to her crib and do what? Beat some cheeks? Nope. They finna rob your ass. Especially if you never met this girl. Like, why are you going to a girl's house on the first link up and walking in her house, bro? Like, at least had his come outside, drive around, have a conversation with her. You feel what I'm saying? Don't get no girl your address to go to her house on the first link up, bro. Make sure you trust these girls. Cause these girls do be set up hoes. You don't wanna f with no set up hoe, cause that's the worst way to go out, man. So you gotta make sure all your P's and Q's is checked. Cause this sh can go down at any moment. So don't be be loafing. Don't be on social media like that, flexing and doing all that stupid shit. Don't be walking around and don't be trusting these hoes, bro, and you're gonna be all right. And on top of all that, don't be on the east side unless you got some business on the east side. Don't be on the west side unless you got some business on the west side. And don't be out south in the hood unless you got some business out there. That's how you avoid all that. Only go places that you have business. We don't go places kicking it unless it's downtown because ain't shit really finna happen downtown. But even then, you gotta be on your P's and your Q's, bro. Don't go to all these other sides of the city. Bull you will get your ass rocked.